Hello everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. My name is Dale and I'm just starting my second year of beekeeping. This is my Siven 31212 honey extractor and I haven't opened it. I have no idea what's inside and we're going to unbox it and put it together. So come on and join the adventure. So this is the Siven extractor for three deep, 12 small frames. And it's, this was the manual version. And it also does 12 medium. So that's why they call it the 31212. So I already cut it open here. And I look down in, you can see that it's all plastic wrapped all around. And I think I can see the legs down in there. I think I can see the crank. Uh, there's no instructions here on the top. So, um, We'll just pull it out of here and see what we can do. There it is, all plastic wrapped, all plastic wrapped up. So I got this at Happy Acres. It's made in Turkey. Let's take a closer look. There's the label. Comes with a honey gate. Comes with uh, twist off, twist knobs. I believe that's where the legs attach. And this is this is where the this is where the handle turn, handle is for the crank. And I let's look down in here. There's a, a see-through plastic shield. And it looks like there's a manual down there in the bottom. Let's see if I can reach down and get that out of there. I 
Here's the user's manual. Looks like one is the gear, two is the handle, three is the cover, four is the honey gate, five is the leg, installation operating instructions. So let me read these for a second and then I'll explain and then we'll do them. So the instructions were, were for both electric and manual and currently this is a manual uh, in the second iteration of this we have the motor the electric and we're going to uh, do that in a second video so the first thing i think we need to do is cut this uh, zip tie right here it comes off. and then this is the hand crank and then this other is the i believe See, does it come out? It's, it's holding it. Something's, something's keeping it from, from coming out. Let's see. It might be that it's just. Hmm. There it is. the hand crank and then here's the three legs so the first thing I think that we would need to do is put the hand crank on and if you can see there's a there's a bolt here and like a set bolt or a set screw so I'm just gonna back that out and then um, there's a spot let's see That's interesting. You can turn this and it doesn't turn the crank. You can turn the basket and it doesn't turn the crank. So the there's a hole here in the back side of this and that set screw probably goes in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on and try to line it up with that hole. Um, there really were, wasn't any instructions on how to line that up, but I think, yeah, I think it, it goes right in there. Now you can let's see crank. Yep. All right. Then the next thing is uh, the legs. They're well wrapped here. So there aren't really any instructions for how to install the legs, um, but I think it's pretty obvious. We're just going to tip this up a little bit. We're going to take these knobs off. And put one of the legs on like this. And put the knobs back on. Uh, the little 
it's a little odd doing this one with one person. It probably would be helpful if you had somebody to help you balance it while you were doing this. There we go. That's the legs installed. Can you turn it around a little bit? Here's the honey gate. It has a little latch. Looks like it just opens right up. Close right back. And there's a little lock. Okay. Let's take a look down inside. So this, and you can see down there, this ledge here, this wire ledge here, that would be where you would do a deep, you do a deep. So deep is done tangentially, and uh, there's uh, three of those. So there would, you would put this in to do the deep. And I don't have any frames with me right this minute to show you what that would look like. Actually, I do. Let me go get a frame. So here's a deep frame. And it just sit right down in there like that. It's interesting. I'm sure that when there's honey in there, that'll stay. Or when they're turning it, you know. It'll go into position, but it's laying in position right now. Okay, so when you crank it, it turns. When you crank it, it turns. Okay, but when you stop cranking, it continues to turn and will coast. And then the other thing is, like if you're cranking, and you've got it really going super fast, and then you want to stop it, you just reverse crank, and that will break it. That will add a break to the spin okay so let's take that so you can do three deeps at a time and then after you do since it's tangential after you do one side you would have to take it out turn it around and put that deep back in and run it again you have to run it the second time so that's the one problem with the tangential is that you have to run each frame twice now, let's look at, let's go ahead and take that um, zip tie off of there. Now that I have that zip tie off, I believe this will just go right up. Yep. So this is for the deeps. Hmm. How do we get it out? There we go. So this, this is for the deeps. And you just drop it in there. And then, uh, this then would be where your mediums and smalls would go. So it would go right in here in this slot, and then it'll rest on this down there. And uh, you probably can't see that. Hold on. Get some more light down in there. You can see there, right below, right below here. There's a a place for the. Uh, the back of the frame and then there's a rest for the front of the frame right there Let's see if you can see it yeah there you can see maybe maybe better like that because there's three of them it's difficult to show you 
There's three of them. Okay. And then while we're looking deep down in there, you can kind of see that the bottom is cone shaped in that it's higher in the middle and lower on the sides. This will allow the honey to flow down into the, the honey gate and, and go on out. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I have to clean this. It says to clean this really good before using it. So I'll have to clean it. And then here's this. So this one will have to come out as well. And then this one will come out. And let's see. So let's close it and crank it and watch what happens. It's a little out of bounds because I took that one piece out. But it moves it pretty quickly and I'm not really cranking it all that hard. So I could crank it really fast, I suppose. So that's a Sivin 3-12-12. I purchased it at uh, Hap B Acres and uh, it's all assembled. Didn't take too long at all. Um, so tune in to the next video where we're going to put the electric motor onto this. Thank you for watching. God bless and have a great day.